Show me the money we've got it right here. Miami! Happy! That's insane. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> All lived up. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ready? One, two, three. Go yeah. Pickler and Ben! Right. Let's do this, man. Up next, we're going to the Brandon Tarnikoff Legacy Award. So welcome, how are you? I'm wonderful, thank you. So your dear friend is getting an award yes. tonight. So tell me about the experience and the connection that you have as Ma friends. Mara Brockakiel is getting the Brandon Tarnikoff Le Legacy Award tonight. She started my career. There's the short version. Um, she had a show called Girlfriends, um, and I, she cast me. I had no credits. I had just gotten dropped by an agency, and she saw something in me and, and started my entire career. She literally could get a kidney. Whatever Mara needs, she gets the easiest yes to get on this plane. To come well, good thing you have two just in case, right? Just in case. Um, and is this your first time at Nappy, or have you been here before? It's my first time at Nappy. I had a, my, my best friend worked for Nappy for maybe 10, 15 years, and she would tell me about the event. I never got to come, and then I finally get to come for this wonderful reason, which is great. Excellent. And uh, when you did she call you to tell you that she had gotten the award? No, they called me to say that she was getting the award, and would I come to present it? And I was like, yes. And then I text her. I'm like, I'm in. I'm coming. She was like, I was hoping you'd say yes. So it was, it was perfect. And what is the most important thing that you would like to share with others about your journey that might empower them to follow their own dreams? Just that it doesn't matter what you have or who you know. If God smiles on you, it's your turn. So just wait for your turn. Just wait for your turn. I love that. That is great. Yes. It. Thank you so Thank much. You, Happy Eddie. journeys to you. Thank you, baby. Thank all you. Right. Stay tuned for more. That was lovely. First of all, congratulations. Thank you. The Brandon Tarnikoff Legacy Award, that's a big deal. Uh, you think? <laughs> All the TV shows that he, I mean, during his legacy and during his reign that I just sort of, I, it was it was nourishment and it was, it's a, a lot of the reasons that I'm here. Different World was the show that turned my, my, my vision toward this industry. I mean, I was just being entertained and feeling represented and feeling seen and then next thing I know, I was like, hey, I want to join that conversation. I found out Debbie Allen was the producer and director behind it and, I, and so it became possible because of, there was a Brandon Tartikoff who saw that it's okay to see everybody at the table at NBC on all those nights so many years ago. So I love that. You and I both grew up in the Midwest. I'm from St. Louis, oh, Missouri. You are. Show me state. <laughs> Kansas City. Yes. Royals. We had, there was a Royals Cardinal a series during, uh, yeah, probably. Yes, yes. I remember that. Yes. <laughs> so I, uh, I was reading a little bit about you and understanding a little bit about your personal journey and the things that you champion for others. So can we talk about that, like why that matters that you want to... I heard that you gave your friend her start. Yes. Well, you know, it's funny. My, I was raised to, you know, to help. To you, you lift as you climb. You don't... It's great to have this recognition and, and, and be, oh, I, I did it. I, and I did do a lot. But you don't, you don't, A, do it alone ever you don't ever do it alone and then if it's just all about you then what impact have you really made in your life except for yourself and so I was raised you lift as you climb you 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 shine a light on others and and hopefully that light that bouncing back and forth will create the type of energy and light so we can all live it up right oh. yes <laughs> thank you for thank that you. congratulations Thank you. The Brandon Tonikoff Legacy Awards for me is the epitome of everything in television. Would you agree? I agree. I agree. I was really fortunate to work with Brandon. Uh, he was the youngest president of NBC, and I was on a television show called Real People. And it ran on NBC from 79 to 84. And he was 32 years old. He took over the network. And I met him, I was 18. And I was, uh, I didn't have all the confidence in the world. I had a little bit, but not all the confidence. And I remember uh, walking down the hall, and he's walking towards me. And I thought, oh, that's Brandon Tartikoff. That's the youngest president of, of a network. And he was really skinny. You could slide him under a door. And he had this big, warm smile. And his soul and his spirit was just warm and engaging. And I said, hey, hi, Brandon. I'm Byron. And he goes, hey, I know who you are, watch real people. And I go, yeah, of course, you run the network. And we got to talking, and, and uh, it was as if we were long-lost friends. And I said, you know, I have some ideas I'd like to pitch to you. And, and, I, and that was not easy to say that to him, because and, and, he's a big network president, and I'm 18 years old. And, and I thought, all right, this is where I get the blow off, right? And he says, you know, and I'm like, I can hear it coming. 
He goes, I got a lot of appointments. I got a ton of appointments. I think I'm booked out for like the next two months. And uh, so he says, you know, why don't you come over to my house? That's a nice invitation. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, he said something to me no executive has ever said to me to this day. He says, why don't you come over to my house this weekend and uh, share your, uh, tell me what you're thinking. And, and uh, I said, well, uh, yeah, uh, okay, <laughs> wow, I was having a hard time processing it. And I went over his house, and I was hoping he would remember he invited me to his house. <laughs> you would show up and be like, okay, I'm here for peanut butter and jelly, and he's like, uh, no, Byron, we don't, we're not having you over. And I remember driving up to his house, and I'm like, dear Lord, I hope Brandon remembers he invited me to his home. <laughs> because he did invite me to his home. And uh, we went in, we had the best time, and I'll never forget, we were sitting there, and he goes, you know, Lily and I just had our first baby, and the baby's in the other room, sleeping, and the baby's in the crib. Do you want to see the baby? And I go, yeah. He goes, okay, we got to be real quiet. We're not supposed to go in the room, because we can't wake up the baby. We wake up the baby, Lily's going to be really upset. <laughs> so we snuck in like two little kids sneaking into the cookie jar, and we went and looked up the baby, and he was, so, he was such a proud father, and I never forgot that moment, and spending that time with him. He was just one of my favorite people. And uh, people don't realize what an amazing job he did when he uh, inherited NBC. He didn't inherit much. Only two and a half hours of programming was working. Real people, the A-team, and different strokes out of 22 hours. The other 19 and a half hours, dead on arrival. And no one would see the promos when he did have a decent show. And the NBC affiliates were so upset with him that they called a meeting in Palm Springs and demanded that he would be fired because the shows weren't getting traction. And Grant Tinker said the kid stays because he's delivering us quality. And what I learned was deliver quality and stay stay the course. And next thing you know, Hill Street Blues and St. Elsewhere and, 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 and Seinfeld, Cosby, all these shows, they started to pop because he just he stayed the course. And uh, so he's special. And the, to have worked with him, is special and to get a, a, an award in his name is something that I will always cherish. And I'm cherishing this moment with you. I respect you, I admire you, I thank you for all you're doing for our industry. You are definitely somebody that is, you know, you set your sights higher than the stratosphere and you're reaching every goal. And so on behalf of everybody in the media, I personally want to thank you. Oh, thank and you. and I got to see you guys the other day briefly with your tennis shoes, you, your sharp dresser. Thank, <laughs> thank you so much. Thank all right, you. be well. Um, I want to talk a little bit about Hang Zipper. All right, the last novel yeah. is coming out at the end of this month, uh, 2019, January. Uh, that is our 29th novel. I am so excited. It is, uh, he's in the second grade. We went backwards. And uh, he, at the end of the novel, he realizes, even with a learning challenge, he could be somebody. And all of us are going through some type of challenge in our okay. life, right? That is, people, children from all over the world write and they say, how did you know me so well? And my funny bone fell out of my body. So the two of the greatest compliments I could get. You have had such a wonderful career and you're still working. You're working a lot. Yes. You're right? How You're great, great is that? Show, Barry. Yes. I just came back from France where I was in a Wes Anderson movie. Oh, my goodness. I believe that there is no such thing as retirement. You have to keep vital. And if you do, then your life is filled with joy. When I read that your jacket from being the Fonz was in the Smithsonian, yes. was that a surreal moment for you when you went? Moment. What happened? Did you cry? How I would have cried. I would have been like, wow. When I went to go and visit it, yes. and then I'm standing there, and somebody comes up, and they go, oh my gosh. And I said, look, you have to take a picture of me with the jacket, because I forgot my camera. And then I'll take a picture of you with the jacket, and then yeah. I'll send it to me. And they did. And they did. Yeah. When you are waking up every day, how do you like to live it up? What do you like to do in your spare time? Uh, fly fish for trout. Okay. Go to the theater with my wife. Go to the movies. Uh, play with our grandchildren. Not necessarily in that order. Excellent. And what about checking in a Mets game? I heard you're a Mets fan. Uh, uh, and Hank Zipser is okay. a Mets fan. A Mets fan because they're underachievers also. Oh, oh. 
Yeah. <laughs> like you, you're so funny. Tonight's a very special night. Yeah. The Brandon Tarnikoff yeah. Legacy Award. Yes. I met uh, Brandon um, when he was working at NBC. Then when he was working at Paramount, we were there together. So I have known him and he passed away way too soon. The man was a brilliant man, no doubt. You are just so lovely that I'm having this really surreal moment just standing here in front of you. You're, you're in incredible. People love your talent and you've been so gracious to me just hanging out. So uh, thank you. I just want, this is really a special moment in my life to meet you. <laughs> and have fun tonight, all right? We're going to be will, living it up. <laughs> and we're living it up. <laughs> and you're an EGOT. And now it's an EGOT and then a BT after well, it. Now I'm a KEGOT because Kennedy Center Award. Oh, my goodness. You're right. Absolutely. <laughs> Ain't that something? It is something indeed. So one day at a time, Netflix. I love that show. Yes. And, and we're about to uh, drop the... the uh, Third season in February. Congratulations. And the, uh, Gloria Estefan, who I love and adore, and I know you do too, uh, got to play your sister? She gets to play my sister. She also sings the theme, but it's Latinized. Uh, but she is hilarious. It is the most funny episode, I think, of the season. We play sisters who really don't like each other, which is great because my character, when she doesn't like somebody, is nasty and hilarious. So, and she's nasty and hilarious, too. It's so much fun. The Brandon Tarnikoff Award, when you found out that you were receiving this, who was the first person that you told, and how did you celebrate it? Oh, my daughter. Okay. My daughter's always the first one to hear all the good news. And uh, she was thrilled and delighted. She was going to come, but uh, unfortunately, she had some important stuff to do. But she's with me almost everywhere since my husband passed away. She's my date. I love that. You can look me up always on red carpets, and she's always with me, and she is gorgeous. She's your plus one. Yes. Now, I uh, grew up in St. Louis, Missouri, and I live in Long Island, and I heard that uh, you're going to do another project and that you cast some unknowns, and you're giving them opportunities for the new... West Side Story, you mean? Yes. Well, oh, I'm not casting them. Well, no, I heard that they're... Yes. Steven Spielberg is casting it. And uh, we are, he is doing West Side Story again. And this time, they're really young people, for real. Okay. They're really Hispanic, for real. Yes. Maria is actually Hispanic, and that's going to be thrilling. And I can't wait to meet these kids. They're all, and they're all young. Because <clears throat> some of the kids in, the, in the, West, the original West Side Story were really kind of grown. I was. I was really too old to play Anita. But Miss Marina, let me tell you something. You still are so vibrant and, and young and full of life and vigor and happiness. It's, it's them Puerto Rican genes. Is that what it is? That's what it is. Can you rub elbows with me? Because I'm not Puerto Rican, but maybe you'll rub okay. on me. <laughs> and when you're not working, how do you like to live it up? How do you like to celebrate life? Oh, just being alive is great. I love to cook. I'm a good cook. Oh, what's your favorite recipe? Well, I do a lot of Caribbean cooking, Excellent. Puerto Rican. And I love to garden. Okay. And uh, that's what I do. It's a very simple life, actually. Well, it was lovely to meet you. Uh, did you get a chance to work with Brandon Tarnikoff? Tell me it's a little bit about the journey. I did. I'm so happy to have known him a little bit in the early 90s when I was a young executive at the Fox Network. He had left NBC and Paramount, and he was a producer. Um, and we developed a few shows with him, and unfortunately we never made any of them, but I got to know him and we had a couple of meals together, and I will just never forget the joy as a young executive of knowing someone who was also young. I mean, Brandon was only in his 40s at the time, but uh, he was one of the great icons of our business and remains so to this day. Now, besides uh, me covering 9 to 5 early on when I first started the television show, you're known for Will and Grace, and Sean Hayes is giving you the award tonight. You both have a star, the Hollywood star, <laughs> and all the accolades that you've been able to acquire. What does the Brandon Tarnikoff Award mean to you personally? Well, as a television executive at heart, to have followed in his footsteps and to have run the same network that he ran, and I went through the same process of inheriting it at fourth place or last place for him in, in the 80s um, and turning it around 
and then to be given this award, it's just, it means everything. I mean, it's probably the most meaningful award that I've been given to date. Pleasure to meet with you. Thank and you. as I mentioned, my show does air on uh, NBC in St. Louis on KSDK. That's one of the stations that we're on. I want to congratulate you and just thank you for all you're doing for the entertainment industry. It truly makes a difference, your passion and your leadership. So thank you for that. Thank you so much. Congratulations. I heard that you just got a bump up. You got a little bit of a... Yeah, a little love. Yeah. A little love in the Tell morning time. That. In the morning. You know, it's. It, I've been working with Natalie and Kit uh, over the last several, a couple years. And it just seemed like a, 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 the next move. And and, it, and I'm so glad to know that the show and the network believes the same thing, and I can't wait to see what we cook up now. Excellent. Oh, Congratulations. Yeah. Have a great time. Thank great you so leg, much. Right? Let's do this, Showtime! Showtime!